There must be, uh, how do I crouch? How do I, uh, let me see here. Uh, no, that's that. Uh, oh, that's crouch. Come on. Yeah, I need to change that because I've got it set so that it doesn't hold the crouch. I'm gonna have to change that in my options. Okay. Oh my god, two guns! Hello! <laughs> two guns. So, uh, bear with me here. Let me just go into the options here real quick. I don't like the toggle, uh, crouch. Uh, toggle sprint's okay. Toggle aim. No, that's fine, I think. I want to basically be able to crouch, and then... There we go, that's better. Basically pick up everything that you run across here. Man, the game looks gorgeous. Wow. What is going on above me? Oh, hi! Hi, big thing. Yes, we got a badass over here. So, uh, if you're looking for a, uh, you know, quick playthrough or a rush playthrough, that's not what this is going to be. I'm going to be kind of slow and deliberate here. Enjoying the game. This is a blind playthrough, so I'm going to be dying a lot and uh, maybe not discovering everything. This whole dual wielding business is pretty slick. Overcharge! That sounds good. Reloading two weapons at once. <laughs> I love it. Hello! Stealth is your absolute best friend. I'll keep that in mind then. Better to kill them when they don't see you than to be ambushed. Uh, I want to use this. Can I not use this? Man, what the what devastation are we facing here? 1946. This is supposed to take place, which in theory would be after the you know history is our history as this the war is over by this, right? All right, I think I got to go that way. That door's locked. I got my knife here. What does this say? Octon something or other. Wow, look at the size of this thing. How would you fight against this? Okay, I'm being shot. And I'm overcharged here, so I should be able to run. Oh man, this airplane is all messed up. I can't get in it. Look at that thing. That is not a good day. Yeah, that's right. The whole uh, game story of this is the, the Nazis won the war and they take over America and we rebel. Pretty sure the second game is also takes place in America, right? Oh my god! Robot dogs now. Scared the crap out of me. Robo dogs. Running and gunning. Sometimes you gotta run and sometimes you gotta. Oh, oh Robo dog! No, stab! Oh my god, how does a Robo dog bleed? Come on, pick your head out. Who's he shooting at? There we go. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. You don't have to warn me about all the uh, those moments. Okay, what do we got here? We got more health, which is great. Need the bullets. I feel like I'm uh, well armed with two of the guns here. Oh, there's a guy over there. Double reload. I unlocked a perk. Wait, is this the same spot or a different spot? Oh, hello. Found a little bit of a stash here. I'm not sure what that means. It could mean anything. Man, electricity is abundant here. I don't know if I should go high. Kind of reminds me of the dogs from RE5. Yeah, no kidding. Zombie dogs. 
Did we have any dogs in RE7? I played that last week, but I don't remember there being any dogs. Which kind of makes me sad a little bit. Considering zombie dogs are a key element of Resident Evil. This ain't war. The breaking of seals. The undoing of life itself. What is going on here? Lots of guns. Look at this thing. Man, I have to say that this game looks incredible. No, I didn't see any of these zombie dogs in uh, RE7. Like I said at the time I uh, played that, I really liked the first quarter, or first third of uh, RE7. But the last third of it, the last act, is pretty much Resident Evil 5 or 6. Running and gunning. Alright, let's go through here, I suppose. Sneak up! And stab him. Yeah, we're gonna go and do the same to him. Let's see if we can take him out. Stabbing! Stabbing, more stabbing. <laughs> Alrighty then. Sweet. Oh, you sneaky guy. They were cyborg dogs? Yeah, you're probably right. What do I... I thought I saw something here. Oh, there it is. Man, war is horrifying. See, that's the whole theme of the this particular uh, playthrough, is the horrors of war. A different kind of horror, you know what I mean? Look at these people in rockets. Why are they in rockets? Uh, I have a lot of health here. I don't know which is better, this one or the dual pistols, but... Let's keep on trucking here. Oh my god, look at the size of that thing. I, I feel like Star Wars now, right? You gotta... grapple up there and throw a grenade in it or something. Let's see what we got here. Take out the commandos! Ace Raisin, thanks for the follow. This is Wolfenstein No Order, which is the first game. We're gonna truck along here. Oh, take out the commander. So, who is the commander? Stealth is your friend, is what I heard earlier. Look at this guy. Oh, there's the commander right there. I think I read that somewhere, that it's better to take these guys out quietly and then you don't have as much fighting to take care of them with the rest of them. Let's go over here and take care of this guy. He looks like he wants to die. Yep, you're dead. Oh, the game may or may not include space? Oh, nice. Yeah, again, this is blind, so I'm, uh... You know, not looking for story spoilers, but anything to do with, like, easter eggs or collectibles, that kind of stuff is fair game in my mind. I'll keep the story spoilers to zero. I mean, there's a second game, so we're gonna assume our main uh, character dude lives. <laughs> Everybody else? Who knows, they may all die. Grenade over there. I haven't used a grenade in a bit. Star Wars walkers, yeah, exactly. Throw a knife! Knife throwing on lock, sweet. I know we're gonna have to go in there eventually. Look at those things sparking up the place. Like war is just terrifying in itself, but and that's only just from like being a bystander and not really knowing it, you know what I mean? Like think of our grandparents or great grandparents that fought in these things. Okay, we see rockets. Bomb! Bomb needed. Okay, so we need a bomb. Is there a bomb over here somewhere? The cacophony of noise is... Yeah. Horrifying, horrifying state. Okay, so I need a bomb. Let's go this way. 
Perfect. Oh, I just threw a knife. Well, I assume we're gonna have to throw a knife because they just gave it to us. Oh, I see. They, I'm that close to the dudes. Ah. I see. So stealth is important because you don't want them calling in. Uh, some reinforcements. I can dual wield a knife. That's pretty cool. Where did he go? I saw him here a second ago. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh crap. I don't know if I actually did anything wrong or right there. We'll see. <laughs> Woo! Shooting all the baddies. Ooh, I want to use this thing. Oh, hello. Oh, I gotta get to carry it. Yes. Yes, this is exactly what we need. The fact that I can do stuff and not have to drop it is even better. Oh yeah, here we go. I got a BFG right here. So I don't know, do I go back and blow up the other thing or do I blow this thing up? I feel like I should, uh... How many bombs do I have? Let's go back to the other area because it, it needed a bomb too. Just to see. Oh wow, this one you gotta spin up. Nice. I think it's nice red hot. Let's see what this does over here. Oh, something's behind me. I wanna see what this does. I'm gonna blow it. Hopefully I've got two bombs. Oh god. Run! Oh my, the big gun! Okay, now run! Oh, no way! <laughs> Crap! I died because I went back for the big gun. I should have dropped it outside. All right, we're gonna update our death counter here. I'm at three now. Okay, that was just silly. And uh, I will move the uh, social media thing. Uh, oh, actually, you know what? I can't. Yeah, I, I don't think I can. Not easily. Anyways, uh, so much for that. That was a great idea. Let's see here. Let me see if I can do that quickly. Bear with me here, folks. I'm just gonna quickly shift that uh, thing around here, so just bear with me. I think it's on this one. And we'll move it over uh, to the right here. There we go. Hey, Crit Graham, thank you so much for the resub on uh, Smashcast. Let's see if that actually uh, fixed that. I'm gonna have to just quickly uh, turn this off and on, and then that should be, it should be fixed now, folks. Okay, so let's get back into the game. There we go. See, now it's over on the right-hand side. Perfect. Let's play. This time I will try not to uh, die from uh, this bomb here. Wait, did I lose the big gun? Oh no, it checkpointed me before I got it. Okay. I think it did. Oh shit, it didn't. Oh, I wasn't prepared for this. Run! <laughs> nice. Blasco, those two cannons are perched on the upper levels of the cliffside bunker. You have to put them out of commission. We have people in the air and those cannons are blasting us out of the sky. Okay, so I have found something. Maybe it's another way to go. To get to the same area? Sad I lost the big gun, but oh well. I, we, we probably will have a bunch of deaths, no doubt. Hey, the real 
Jay's Max. Thank you so much for the uh, new sub. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate that. We now have a silencer. Ooh, I like silencers. Man, look at all the guns we have so far. How do I activate the silencer? Uh, let me think about this for a second. Silencer? Um, let me think about this. Handgun upgrade. Press right D button to turn it off and on. All right, sweet, let's do this. Thank you so much for the sub, that's really nice of you. Appreciate that. I feel like I might have just found an alternate path to the same thing, hopefully. Or not. Wow, I can crawl through that thinny little air, air. wow. What's the premise of the story? The Nazis, they are terrible creatures and they win World War II. And we're an American who does not like the fact that that happened. And uh, we need to figure out how to slow them down, stop them, whatever. Ow, how'd that happen? Nice silencer though. Oh shoot, there's an alarm. That's probably why we got problems. Can I just shoot the alarm? Nope. Really, dudes? Hi, guys. How about that grenade? All right, folks. We are broadcasting an alarm. 21 meters from here. We gotta shut that thing off. Gotta find it first. Too bad I can't shoot the alarms. Oh, a nice big gun here. Alarm is off, sweet. Oh, so that was a general that was broadcasting. Ah, nice. Cool, cool. I feel like I want that mount. Let's just see what else is over here. Wow, that looks like a place where they shoot people. Look at that. Blood splatter everywhere. I'm gonna grab this. So I, I that was that the general I just killed then? I'm not sure which this was a general here then I must have killed him. Oh okay. <laughs> His hat popped off. <laughs> nice. Alright, I wanna take this for a little walk walk about. So do I have a map here? Uh let's see here. Notes. Oh, looks like I have to disable the ca the uh, cannons. Got some perks here. Collectibles. Oh my gosh, look at all the collectibles. I don't think I've found any of those yet. I wasn't really looking, frankly. So I got a big gun and I'm not afraid to use it. Opens from the other side. What have we got over here? Usually collectibles are hiding in like nooks and crannies, right? Oh, I can actually crawl this way. Oh, if they have a hat and a headset, they are a general. Ah, nice. A morgue. Great. 2A, 2B, 1A, 1B. These are all other letters of the alphabet. Some sort of secret experiment area. Snagging a collectible. Hey, speaking of collectibles, I just got my first gold collectible. Very good. Can I get over there, please? Uh, why did you drop the gun? I have not even had a chance to use you yet. That was the door I think I just unlocked from the other side. Wait, did I go over here yet? I think I did. There's dead bodies that way. Whatever that's supposed to be. Super Betten. <laughs> yes, Gibbs Love, exactly. There is something big over there. Oh boy. Overcharge. I don't even know if this is the way I'm supposed to go. 
Oh. Another collectible! Enigma code! Yeah, that's what happens when you, uh, kind of go in the wrong way, you know what I mean? Look at all the nooks and crannies here. Hey, the Meg, how are you doing? Oh, there's actually a map that shows you the collectibles? Let's see here. Uh, I'm not even sure what the map is. Well, that's not the map. Um... Where's the map? Map? Nope. Map? Map? Oh, here's the map. This is the D-pad. So is the question marks? Say about the cannons. Huh. Okay, so we're definitely gotta go the other way. I'm not sure if it's the question marks that might be collectibles. We'll see. We will see. Oh, what's this? Oh, just ammo? Heavy ammunition. Ooh, I like that. That looks like another... Oh, we have a map now. Sweet. Oh, that's kind of cool. Very good. A, B, C, D. Interesting. Oh, I see. Okay, so the question marks are collectibles and the exclamation points are objective. Sweet. Got it. You know what? I'm cool with that. I like when maps show you where the collectibles are. I mean, you still got to find them, but at least you don't have that stress, you know? Worrying about if you're going to be able to find them or not. Hmm. How do I get to the other side? Doesn't look like it's connected at all. Maybe I'll go up. 